Individual freedom requires collective action, and a collective is a group. But if every sacrifice for the group is viewed as oppression, then we lose the ability to preserve your individual freedom. So I ask you again, masks, vaccines, please. The Hitler of the Golden State, Gavin Newsom, gives the orders, wear a mask, stay inside, don't travel. Socialist Democrat Gestapo going door to door, house by house, uh, trying to stick uh, uh, syringes in people's arms. You're forcing people to wear masks, they were forced to wear a star. Using a Sharpie to brand students with a number to distinguish the unvaccinated from the vaccinated. A prom should never inspire images in my mind of Auschwitz. Agreed. <laughs> Auschwitz is a terrible prom theme. <laughs> ah, a crystal nacht to remember. <laughs> But I see the problem. You think the government taking public safety measures to combat COVID is like Hitler. And we think COVID is like Hitler. And so it looks like we got ourselves a good old fashioned Hitler off. <laughs> so once and for all, let's find out what's more. Hitler! I... Oh, wait. I believe you were supposed to chant that with me, so we're gonna try that again. <laughs> What's more Hitler! Do you, by the way, do you think that's how Hitler started? <laughs> oh, they, they really like chanting the name Hitler. <laughs> All right, here's how. Shit's getting dark fast, isn't it? <laughs> Here's how it's gonna go. You got your Hitler on the left there, and then you got your COVID and your uh, COVID prevention methods. Which one will resemble Hitler more? <laughs> First up, let's deal with body count. COVID's killed nearly five million people. Masks? Nobody. <laughs> Vaccines? I don't know, three? <laughs> Let's say 100. You know what? I'll spot you with 1,000. Clearly, on the issue of body count, COVID is the Hitler on this one. Point for COVID. <laughs> All right. Let's go to territorial ambition. Hitler had tremendous territorial ambition. COVID is fucking everywhere. <laughs> Masks and vaccines have barely made it to Florida. <laughs> Point COVID. <laughs> COVID's making it a runaway. <laughs> All right, here's one. This is a little bit more fanciful. Time machine. They always ask, if you had a time machine, would you go back in time and would you kill baby Hitler? And everybody's like, I don't know if I could kill a baby. And I'm always like, oh, I think I'm probably strong enough to do that. I mean, <laughs> I'm not super strong, but I could probably do that. <laughs> so. <laughs> I wouldn't, <laughs> but I could. <laughs> so. That wasn't right. It, so if you could go back in time, would you kill COVID? Yeah. Where would you go to kill it? The wet market or the laboratory? Oops, I stepped in it again. What have I done? And I'll tell you this, I would definitely fucking kill COVID as a baby. Now, would you, however, kill the immunosuppressed deli owner who has made you put on a mask for 30 seconds to get a bagel when he was a baby? Yeah, I don't think you would. Point COVID for the time machine. <laughs> Finally, propaganda. Now, I'll admit, COVID does not have a Riefenstahl-esque team burnishing its image. But you know, COVID prevention 
doesn't really have any chilling propaganda videos either. Imagine there's no heaven. <laughs> Point COVID prevention. Um, <laughs> But I don't have to imagine I'm living it. Better propaganda videos, all right, that goes there. But clearly, on the important measure, deaths, COVID's more Hitler. And so we find ourselves in an absurd place where minor sacrifices to preserve freedom now lead to violent backlash because they think it's leading to Hitler.